so hard, don't they, in the curtains? Oh, but so creative. Oh, Do you brilliant. think Andrew Lloyd Webb has watched? <laughs> it's going to be NHN for it's him. It's been done, I think, hasn't <laughs> it, already? Oh, everyone is doing their bit, but some of us... Here, to shine a spotlight on some of the most inspirational people in Wales. People like Elvis fan and local rugby club legend, Auntie Pip. <laughs> One man has been putting a smile on our faces since the 1970s with a song or a poem for every milestone in Welsh life. He is the People's Poet Laureate of Wales. Who is he? There's only one, isn't there? The amazing Max Boyce. It's a delight to see you. And also, Max, this poem that you've written, which we are going to hear right at the end of the programme, has been extraordinary for you, hasn't it? When just the tide yeah, just went... Terrible, isn't it? Um, that is just in the neat valley alone. <laughs> that yeah. is, isn't it? I didn't want to be... Can we end the programme with you reading out the poem? Um, I'd love to... Welcome to the great indoors. I'm Carol Vorderman. And I'm Scott Cornell. With Wales still in lockdown, we are determined to put a smile on our faces. And who better than these inspiring folk in tonight's programme? that have made many of us laugh out loud this week. And here are just three of our favourites. Kicking off with West End actor John Owen Jones, who joined in the phone with comedian Matt Lucas and his Thank You Baby Potato song. Wash your hands. The opera oh, to Baked Potato. That, the, the, the Baked Potato series that Matt Lucas is doing, and John's one is just absolutely incredible. Oh, I love <laughs> That. That's amazing. It's just like the real Spider-Man. People go, and why did he go under the bridge? Surely he should have climbed, <laughs> should have climbed over the top of it. <laughs> OK, so Spider-Man, brilliant. And finally taking a well-earned dress, but still continuing to entertain the residents at Estrad Vechan Care Home in Triorki. Scott, are you ready for this? The dancing Rhonda carers. <laughs> But I love the fact that her own... Kiri Pritchard McClay <laughs> <laughs> in Anglesey. Yeah, so I mean... Friends from and it's more from Anglesey, and they've been self-isolating for hundreds of years. <laughs> and, uh, no, no, nothing, much, nothing much has changed. It must seem like years ago when you see yourself with an audience so close. Yes, it does. It... That's amazing, it's amazing, isn't it? it? Yeah. All right, Kerry, let's just have a little look at some parts of the COVID arms. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wish you all the best, Kiri. Oh, thank you so much, and thank you very much for having me. Oh, our Lovely pleasure. Lovely to see you. Oh, that, that was just brilliant, wasn't it? Oh, brilliant, just yeah. absolutely brilliant. And you can also catch Kiri hosting stand-up for uh, BBC Wales in the Welsh comedy box set on iPlayer. Ah, uh, so... Amazing countryside in Wales, we really are. And if you're lucky enough to live in that countryside under lockdown, here's Yolo Williams uh, with some tips on what to look out for on this spring ramble. Let's have a cup of tea. And that is, is one of the nicest things ever to do, isn't it? But you're a walker. You're, I'm uh, you're a big walker. Yeah, well, you do well, like normally 15 I'm, miles. I know, 15 miles about three times a week, normally in the beacons or on the coast. You're a long that. way from home after that. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know all the routes around the beacons now, but of course we're not allowed to go at the moment. No. But uh, Okay, Scott, so we found this clip that's doing the rounds online in Wales at the moment. And this is from a young actress and impressionist called Fionn, and she's from Carmarthenshire. And she's part of what's known as the High Jinx Theatre Group. And High Jinx uh, take adults and children with learning disabilities and put them together and do fantastic things. But of course she's in lockdown now. Mm. Have a look at Nessa. Oh, well, that's a kid. And then, was that Nessa or Fionn? <laughs> that was Nessa. That was Nessa without a tattoo. Oh, that was brilliant. It was Wasn't brilliant. that brilliant? No. You know, and although the hijinks isn't on at the moment, you can still have a little bit of acting, a little bit of theatre in your own home. And if you have any videos or photos, that will make us laugh. Oh, what a lovely film that was. That's what all of us coming together, that's what it's all about. Yeah, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Well done, Mo. Now, for many of us, our dogs have been loving the lockdown. But not all of our four-legged friends are as lucky 